Sonny, next it's time for a bit of a kickabout. Here we go. Ooh, with the World Cup just four weeks away, uh, uh, the whole world is going football crazy, which means it's likely to be boom time for Sport Direct, the UK's largest sporting retailer, and its owner, Mike Ashley, Britain's 23rd richest person. But beware, some of their offers aren't necessarily what they see. <laughs> Whether it's trainers, tennis rackets or tracksuit bottoms you're after, Sports Direct has them all. With around 400 branches nationwide, more people shop with them than any other sports store. And best of all, there are almost always special deals on offer with discounts galore. What's not to like? Quite a lot as it happens because as customer Chris Allen discovered, the discounts on offer don't always add up. On each and every item I noticed in the sh store was multicoloured banners which offered varying levels of discount. On closer examination, you could see that there was a very small up to in the corner of each of the, of the price tickets. I noticed on a quick calculation that the, the amounts of discount just weren't adding up, that where it said 70%, there was a much less discount on the item of just over 50%. In over 40 years working as a trading standards officer, Chris never saw a sale promoting discounts in this way. The benefit to Sports Direct in all of this is that they're using what, in my view, are misleading price indications to draw consumers into the shop. So just how widespread is this practice? We decided to investigate, starting with the Sports Direct website. Here we go then, men's tracksuit bottoms, £24.99. And it says here it's reduced up to 80%. But when you look at the price, it's £9.99. That's only a reduction of 60%. And how about this? Children's tracksuit bottoms used to be £21.99 and again reduced by up to 80%. But take a look at the price and it's £17.99. Now that's a reduction of just 18%. Not 80. Of over 1,400 sale items we looked at online, more than half failed to meet the full up to discount that Sports Direct advertise. So, is it the same inside the stores? Our secret shoppers visited 10 different stores around the UK and in each picked out 10 different items offering up to 30%, 70% or 80% off. They then worked out how much money off you're actually getting. In our first store in England, we found these trousers advertised as having up to 70% off. But it isn't hard to work out, it's really only a 50% discount. In Scotland, this ladies' swimming costume is advertised as having up to 30% off, when actually you only get a reduction of just under 20. And in Northern Ireland, it was the same story too. This hoodie advertised as up to 70% off. The real discount, 57%. Of the 100 items we picked up in 10 different stores, hardly any met the up to discount offered. Surely this is misleading. Consumer marketing professor Vince Mitchell agrees. The current consumer protection legislation prohibits retailers from giving any false or misleading information. And any price information needs to be valid and accurate. It would appear that these claims do breach those guidelines. So Sports Direct are potentially breaching regulations online and in shops all over the country. What do their staff have to say about what they're doing? Recommended retail is 15, not in all, so it's nearly 30%, I suppose to say. Okay, it's like 10% instead of 30%. It, that's just the way we, we get explained to it by head office. It's, they send it in like that, unfortunately. That's just a bit confusing. I know it is. I, I agree with you. So do I. It says 70%, but that doesn't look like 70%. It's just it's up to 70%. Oh, yeah. um, but it's more like 60. I know. So why not put 60? Would you go for it if it... If you had 16, 70 there, you'd rather go for 70, right? Okay. It says up to, so but it's, not, it's never going to be 70% off. It's just to, okay. just to catch your eye down. I was looking at this one. Um, it says 30% off, but it's only got £2 off it. It says up to. Oh, right. Okay. So it's not 30% off, but. Oh. Okay, cool. Up to 30%. It's going to get away with it quite a lot. So, are Sports Direct attempting to get away with something? Or is this just a series of mistakes with their calculations? 
because there is one up to offer they don't get wrong very often. And that's when items are on sale at up to 50% off. Of the 100 such offers we checked, 80 of them met or exceeded half price. Yet only 3 out of 100 met or exceeded the claims on the other, less simple discounts. So why is one discount usually correct and the other's not? It couldn't be because 50% off is the easiest discount for a customer to work out, could it? The fact that most 50% price discounts were accurate and most 13-70% price discounts were not accurate is suspicious and suggests that they are using consumers' inability or unwillingness to make price calculations to their own advantage. So, what have we learnt? Well, these offers are confusing. Even the staff think so. They're misleading and potentially they're in breach of consumer regulations. Now, for a company selling sporting goods, that's not exactly what I call playing fair. Sports Direct says it takes any allegation of breaching consumer protection regulation very seriously. It claims we didn't provide enough individual product information for them to investigate properly and that we only selected a tiny minority of the millions of products they discount. Sports Direct adds that up to reductions is a tried and tested way of alerting customers to the best discounts. However, it says that it will use our investigation to continue to monitor promotions. So unless you're a top mathematician, working out percentages can be a bit tricky. And as we've seen, getting your sums wrong whilst out shopping is no laughing matter. So we're going to give you a few useful tips to get your sums right. And we have a stand-up mathematician, Matt Parker. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Stand-up mathematician, what's that? Well, I work as a stand-up and a mathematician. That adds up. Oh, well done. Ah. <laughs> All right, thank you. OK, give us three tips, then, on how to do our maths while out shopping. All right, so we've got 10% is calculation free. That means if you're faced with something like, let's say, £13.50, yeah. and you've got to find 10%, you don't have to do any calculations. It's exactly the same numbers, you just move the decimal point over one spot. And if it's 20%, of course... Yeah, so 20%, you double that, and so you'd get £2.70, and let's say 30% multiplied by 3, you get, what's that going to be, £4.5. Pounds five. Five. Nice That's simple. Now, swap the price and percentage. Now we're getting a bit tricky. Yeah, what does this, that mean? This is when you're faced with something like, let's say, you want to get 16% of 25, yeah. and you're like, oh, well, that if 25 horrible. had been the percentage, that's easy, it's a quarter. Well, in fact, you can always swap them. That's exactly the same calculation as 25% of 16. Is it? We get the same answer both ways. They both equal 4. That's really clever. Uh, and close enough is good enough. Is that sort of a guess, is it? Yeah, this is when you don't need the exact price, but you need something close enough quickly. So let's say you've got, I don't know, let's say 33% of something like 68 pounds. Yeah. What you do is you round them both to the nearest 10 and then just take a single digit. So that would be 30 so we'll have a 3, yeah. that'll be 70, so we'll put the 7, and then you multiply those together. 3 times 7, you get 21 pounds, which is not bad. What's the, the exact the answer? The exact answer is 22 pounds and 44 pence. So That's not too bad yeah. at all. So let's put these theories to the test. We're going to have our very own watchdog sale, and we've got number one shopper there. Oh, yes, that's You've done me. a bit of shopping? Way too much shopping. OK, imagine going to a sale. Have you ever been to a sale? I don't like sales. No, I didn't think you did. Has he got a degree? Have you got a degree? Yeah, math degree. OK, I've got a first. Well, it's from Australia, so rough equivalent. Doesn't count. Be very, very careful, because he's going to be marking you now, because we're going to okay. put you to the test. First up, a Chris Hollins Strictly Come Dancing shirt. Beautiful. Why, thank you. £41, and we're going to have 30% off. What is the deduction? £12.30. OK, using our 10% is calculation free. £41 becomes £4.10, and then we times it by three. The correct answer, Matt, correct. is... £12.30. Very good, Annie. Very good indeed. Up next, the Matt All Right joke book. Thin. Very thin. <laughs> a tad dusty. Yeah. Here we go, then. It's £25, and rather a complicated measurement, 36% off. I'd say about £9. OK, well, let's use swap the price and percentage theory. OK, it's £25. 36%, let's make it £36 and 25%. So we divide 36 <laughs> by 4, £9. Spot on, £9. Oh, not too bad. 
Last but not least, the Christie New Orleans jacket. Is this yours? It is mine, and it would never cost £88. Pounds. No, I, yes, we'd probably add a few noughts onto this, wouldn't we? Okay. Uh, £88, pounds, 22% off. 18, 19, 19 pounds. Okay, close is good enough. This is what I'm going to go for. I'm going to make 88 into a 9. 22% into a 2, 9 times 2, around 18, 18 pounds. Let's do that. Yep, it's a good guess. It's 19 pounds 36. So my way is best. Yeah. The old-fashioned way. Imagine my surprise. Your <laughs> way is always best. Matt, help. 